Do you ever look in the mirror or have your picture taken and you feel like one of your hips sticks out further than the other or is maybe a bit higher than the other one? Well, it's called lateral pelvic tilt and it's actually not that uncommon. Today we're going to talk about what causes this and a few stretches and exercises you can do to correct it. If you like what you see here, I'd really appreciate it if you pull out your phone and follow me on my Instagram at brettmvrk. I put a lot of really cool stuff on there you won't find anywhere else. So what is lateral pelvic tilt? Well, it's where one hip is higher than the other, known as hip hike, or one hip is lower than the other, known as hip drop. Basically, it looks like your waist is not sitting central on your hips. The pelvis will hip drop to the side of relative tight glute medius, weak quadratus lamborum, and weak elongated adductors. I know that sounds confusing, but it'll make a lot more sense once we get into the exercises. You may be wondering how you can tell if you have lateral pelvic tilt. Well, it's fairly easy. The easiest way is to simply find the highest point on each hip and place your hand there. Then you look in the mirror and see if one hand is higher than the other. But most of the time, it'll be noticeable just by seeing your physique in pictures. That's how I found out that I had it. First, we need to talk about the two form causes that these exercises will not correct. Scoliosis and different length in legs. Okay, great. I'm glad we talked about that. <laughs> no, but seriously, the only thing that will fix those will come by the way of surgery. But what we can work to correct is muscle imbalances. Imagine every day you do 50 curls with a five pound dumbbell weight, but only with one of your arms. Sure, it's not gonna seem like a big deal at the start, but after a while, you're gonna have major discrepancies in not only the muscle, but also the tendons and ligaments of your arms. And the same thing goes with your hips. A lateral pelvic tilt can result from an imbalance between the quadratus lamborum, adductors, and glute medius muscle. Answer these questions. Do you lean more on one leg? Do you sit more on one butt cheek than the other? Do you always sleep on the same side? Aha! It's all making sense now, huh? At the top of your hips are the iliac crest, and you have a lot of muscles in your pelvis that are responsible for adduction, internal and external rotation, so basically pushing, pulling, and twisting at your waist. And if you overuse one of the muscles, it can have an ugly effect on your hip bones and can even have a chain reaction effect going into your torso and shoulders. So we need to do some stretches to relax those over-tightened muscles. We start with quadratus lamborum release. The quadratus lamborum is the muscle that sits within your pelvis connecting your hip bone to your rib cage. So if this is tight, then it will pull your hip up into your ribs creating a hip hike. So for this movement, all you need is a massage ball. Then follow these steps. Place the massage ball directly on the quadratus lamborum. Apply your body weight onto the ball. Roll your body over the entire length of the muscle for about a minute. I recommend doing this a couple times and doing it on each side. This will loosen up the muscle fibers so your raised hip can sit back into place with the other one. Stretch number two is the glute medius stretch. To do this, start by sitting on an even surface. Put one leg over the other and then pull the knee up to the shoulder. Stretch outward and release tension in the outer hip. Hold this for 20 to 30 seconds. And I recommend doing two or three sets on each side to really open up the pelvis. Am I right, fellas? <laughs> so now that we've loosened up the glute medius and the quadratus lamborum, it's time to do a couple exercises to strengthen the muscles that may be contributing to the unevenness of your hips. The aim of the following exercises is to get all of the involved muscles on both legs to work together to achieve a more neutral pelvis. The first exercise is step ups, and here's how you do it. Stand on your right leg on the edge of a step. Maintain a level pelvis throughout the exercise. You can do this by looking in a mirror. Slowly lower your left leg down towards the floor. The right knee should bend as you do this. Do not touch the ground. Let it hover about one centimeter above the ground. Then return to the starting position and repeat this 10 times. This will help strengthen the glute medius, bringing the hip back in where it should be. The last exercise to do is wall push. To do this exercise, lift your hip to about 90 degrees and place the side of your leg against a wall. Bend your planted leg to about 10 degrees. 
push the lifted leg into the wall. Aim to feel the side of your hip engage. Hold this position for 5 to 10 seconds and repeat this about 10 times. Do the same on both sides and this is going to help strengthen the adductors and pull the iliac bone back into place where it belongs. These four stretches and exercises will help open up the pelvis and strengthen those weak muscles. After doing all of these for a few months, you should be able to get back to completely symmetrical or very close. But it's just as important to correct the mechanical mistakes that cause these imbalances in the first place. Distributing your weight evenly between both butt cheeks when sitting, stop favoring one leg when standing, sleeping on the same side every night, holding things with one of your hips, like babies and furniture and stuff like that. If you do anything long enough, it'll have a mechanical effect on your muscles and ligaments. So you have to make a conscious effort to stop before it gets worse. Hope you enjoyed the video, everyone. Let me know in the comments what else I can help you with. If you haven't already, subscribe, turn post notifications on. And until next time, adios muchachos.